during a traffic stop is set to go before a judge this morning. The court appearance comes just one day after an Ohio grand jury indicted 25-year-old Ray Tensing on charges of murder and voluntary manslaughter in the death of 43-year-old Sam DuBose. Officials also released video from the officer's own body camera shot during the incident nearly two weeks ago. NBC's Ann Thompson has the story. We want to warn you, it could be disturbing for some. The final moments of 43-year-old Sam DeBose's life captured on the body camera of the officer now accused of his murder. Hey, how's it going? Good. Officer Tensing, you see police. You have a license on you? Yeah, what happened? University of Cincinnati officer Ray Tensing stopped DeBose for not having a front license plate. He said front it's plate. in the glove box. You don't have to reach for it. It's okay. You have a license on you? DuBose doesn't produce his license. What's that uh, bottle on the floor there? Oh, the, bottle. the bottle says gin, but DuBose insists it holds no liquor. Several more times, Tenzing asked DuBose for his license, and then something happens. Okay. Well, until I can figure out if you have a license, license or not, go ahead and take your seatbelt off for me. I ain't even doing that. Go and take your seatbelt off. Stop. Stop. Less than two minutes after Tenzing approach, Tenzing fires a single shot, hitting DuBose in the head, killing DuBose as the car starts to move. Tenzing chases after the car and another officer arrives. He purposely killed him. In the bluntest of terms, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter has called DuBose's death senseless. This is the most asinine act I've ever seen a police officer make. He wasn't dealing with someone who was wanted for murder, okay? He was dealing with someone who didn't have a front license plate. The video appears to contradict Tenzing's story, that he was being dragged by the car and had to fire his weapon. Tenzing's attorney says there is a second tape that shows his client was on the ground. That he felt like he was, his life was in danger. Tensing is 25. He's been an officer for four years, full-time with the University of Cincinnati since last year. The stop was made off campus but allowed under a mutual agreement with the city. For the DuBose family... Seeing that pit video let me know that my son did absolutely nothing. Both the DuBose family and city officials are calling for calm to avoid a repeat of the riots in 2001 after an officer shot and killed an unarmed black man. A videotape and swift indictment to keep the focus on justice in the death of Sam DuBose. Sam DuBose's family says he'd just gotten engaged the day before. And here's his mother yesterday. Did you see in your heart to forgive this person, this officer, whether he's convicted or not? If he asks forgiveness, oh yeah, I can forgive him. I can forgive anybody. God forgave us. See, our God is almighty. Uh, you know what? This is, this is about, we talk about body cameras, Mike. You know what? Um, right now, we would be trying to figure out exactly what, what happened. happened. And there would be stories about uh, what, what, what happened here. And you would hear that there's somebody, you know, was abusive and fighting and reach for this or reach for that. The body camera tells the tale. The cop's own body tale, the cop's own body body camera tells the tale, and it refutes the tale that the that the that the cop originally told that he was being dragged by the car. He was not being dragged by the car. He clearly had his gun out for a stop from a missing license plate. There was a conversation that ensued for at least a couple of minutes on the tape as you watch it, and then what happens happened. We just saw within five seconds. When the individual starts his car and begins to pull away, boom, within five seconds, he shot and killed that man. New York Times oh. quotes a criminologist at the University of Cincinnati, John Eck, who says before this he was a body camera skeptic. Now he's changed his mind. Now to this story from the Boston Globe. And again, we've been saying it nonstop. The only people that body cameras hurt are bad cops. A uh, Massachusetts detective is on administrative leave this morning after video surfaced of him telling a civilian driver that he would put a hole in his head after an apparent traffic violation. The video was captured by the driver's dash cam. Here's how the scene unfolded after the detective, who was off duty at the time, pulled over the driver.
Oh, I didn't know you were a cop. Right through your head. I didn't know you were a cop. I'll put a hole right through your head. Hold okay, on. okay, okay, okay. I did, did, that, did that guy look like a cop? No. I mean, come on. He's, he's off duty. It's, uh, this is not the first encounter he's within the police department, I'm told, uh, with hey. anger issues. He clearly has an anger issue. He clearly should not have a badge. <clears throat> And, the exchange and, by, and by the way, if a guy's walking like that, screaming at me, looking like that, oh. I'm not going to pull back. I'm driving off. Oh, yeah. Exactly. All right. The, the exchange continued after the driver agreed to move his vehicle. The driver has reportedly not yet posted any video showing the actual incident, which the detective demanded he hand over on tape.